Hi everyone, we continue for our third part for kata adjectives. Okay, so did you remember that we have nine type of kata adjectives? So we already cover um, seven of it and we continue with uh, perasaan means feeling and also we have panca indra means our sense. Okay, next, uh, we have perasaan. Perasaan is something that we have inside of us. For example, like here we have rindu. Rindu means miss. Like, uh, I miss you. You can say, saya rindu awak. And then we have sayang. Okay. Sayang is a feeling that we have for our friends, for our siblings, for our parents. Okay. That means love. Like, saya sayang keluarga saya. I love my family. Okay, then we have ragu. Ragu here means doubt. For example, like you are walking around uh, your college and uh, you saw someone who actually uh, looking at you with um, doubtful uh, eyes. So that one is ragu. And then we have segan. Segan is more like shy. For example, like um, you are shy in class. Don't want to talk, don't want to respond. So that one you can call it segan. And then we have suka. Suka means like, for example, like you like to drink coffee. You like to drink coffee. In Bahasa Melayu we call it as a saya suka minum coffee. No, sorry, saya suka minum kopi. That one is the correct one. And then we have gembira. Gembira means happy. So every day we will. Free. Um, we will feel happy because yeah, we start our day uh, with happy and then everything is going to be fine. So, happy is gembira. And then we have sedih. Sedih means sad. For example, like you are far away from your family. You feel so sad sometimes. So, that one is sedih. And then we have cinta. Let me discuss about this. Um... Last week, cinta means love, but only for boy and girl. If you are married, so it's for your spouse. And we have marah here. Marah means angry. Sometimes when we make a mistake, someone very angry with us, right? So that one we call it as a marah. Okay, we go through a picture here. You can see this girl actually crying because she feels sad, sedih. And then, can you see this man, this gentleman here is like very angry? We call it as a marah. And we have this guy, so happy. Maybe she got bonus, okay? This one we call it as a gembira. And here we have someone so shy. You can also call it as a malu and it's same with gun. And we have, okay, I love my BFF means saya sayang kawan saya. So, that one is sayang. Okay, the next part, uh, the last category for category adjective, we have panca indra. Okay, we have five types of panca indra. So, the first one we see, we have eyes. Okay, so we have mata. Normally, mata, we use for look something. We want to see a nice thing, a cute thing, a beautiful thing. So, mata means eyes, melihat means look. Cantik means beautiful. The opposite of cantik is hodoh, means ugly. Beautiful versus ugly. So, we have cantik lawan hodoh. Okay, so next we have our nose. Okay. What we call nose in Bahasa Melayu. We call it as a hidung. Hidung, what is the function of hidung? We want to sniff something, right? Okay, we want to bau something. We have bau sesuatu. Okay, normally we want to sniff something, have a good smell. We call it as a wangi. And then the really bad smell, we call it as a busuk. So, we have wangi. The opposite for wangi is busuk. Okay, next, we have here. We have our ear. Ear, we call it as a telinga. For the function for telinga is for listening. So, kita mendengar. We always want a quiet environment. That one we call it as a sunyi. 
S U N Y I Sunyi. The opposite for Sunyi, we have a noisy place like our shopping mall in Malaysia. That one we call it as the Bising. So Bising Lawan Sunyi. And we also have our hen. What is the function of our hen? Okay, hen we call it as a tangan. Normally for tangan, we like to touch something. Okay, we like to touch uh, a glass, a board and everything. Okay, for example, like we have a, um, a whiteboard. Okay, the old whiteboard sometimes it's going to be like the rough surface, right? That's why we call it as a kasar. And then uh, the opposite for kasar is halus. Uh, maybe for table, normally a table uh, have a, a delicate surface, that one we call it as a halus. And last but not least here, we have our tongue. Okay, tongue have a lot of function because normally for tongue, we use for taste a food. Okay, so we have pahit, which is bitter. We have manis, which is sweet. We have sour which is masam, and we have spicy, pedas, and we also have masin. So, pahit, manis, masam, pedas, and masin. So, five taste that we can use using our lidah. Okay, that's all for uh, adjective for this week. Thank you for listening and watching. Bye.